How to thread a Brother LS2125 I sewing machine. The Brother LS2125 I sewing machine is a lightweight, simple machine that attracts sewing enthusiasts of all skill levels. Threading the machine is a very straightforward process, but there are quite a few steps you'll need to follow if you want the job done right. Winding the bobbin 1. Place the spool on the spool pin. Pull the spool pin up so that it is completely vertical. Sit the spool of thread on this pin. Position the spool so that the thread winds clockwise around it. Pass the thread around the bobbin winding tension disc on top of the machine. Draw the thread through the bobbin hole. Pass the tail end of the thread through the top hole of the empty bobbin. The thread should pass through the hole from the inside. The tail of the thread should end up on the outside of the bobbin. Only pass the thread through the upper hole. Do not pass it through the bottom hole. Sit the bobbin on the bobbin winding shaft. Place the bobbin onto the winding shaft, then slide the shaft to the right. Use your hands to gently twist the bobbin clockwise. After a slight rotation, you should see the spring on the bobbin winding shaft click into the slit along the side of the bobbin. Press the foot controller. Lightly tap your foot on the foot controller of the machine. Allow the, the thread to wind around the bobbin a few times. Hold the tail end of the thread with one hand as you do this. Take your foot off the controller and stop the machine after the thread is partially wrapped around the bobbin. Do not wait until the bobbin is full before releasing the controller. Trim the excess thread and continue winding. Once the thread is secure on the bobbin, trim the tail coming out from the top hole. Step on the presser foot again to finish winding the bobbin. The machine should stop on its own once the bobbin is completely full. Do not touch the balance wheel as the bobbin wins. The wheel will turn during this time, and you should not disturb or attempt to stop it. Cut the remaining thread. Once the machine stops, cut the thread connecting the bobbin to the rest of the spool. Push the bobbin winding shaft back to the left and lift the full bobbin off. Note that if the bobbin is wound improperly, the thread tension could loosen as you sew and break the needle. The thread on the finished bobbin should look tight and even. This step completes the bobbin winding portion of the process.